today was all about opening up again in Scotland, unlocking lockdown and at last seeing that roadmap to freedom. This hair salon in Glasgow has been closed for nine weeks now. Today, they were told it will be another 10 weeks, at least. And even then, Scotland will only go back to having five levels of lockdown. At that stage, we hope that all parts of the country currently in level four will be able to move out of level four and back initially to level three, possibly with some revision to the content of the levels and afterwards to levels dependent on incidence and prevalence of the virus at that time. Unlike in England, Scotland's level system will open up slower and with regional differences. The lack of dates is also giving less hope. The economy is suffering too much. People are suffering. It's just the most down thing you can hear. As if it couldn't have been level with Boris, with the rest of the UK, it would have been fine. Well, they're telling us, you know, the vaccines are, uh, you know, doing really well, better than they thought. You know, the numbers are coming down. I just, I really can't get my head around it. I feel absolutely devastated. Schools have been made the priority. Younger pupils returned yesterday, and there will be a phased return of all students between March 15th and April 19th. The stay-at-home order is to be lifted from April 5th. Then, from the last week in April, Scotland moves to the level system, opening non-essential retail gyms and hairdressers if rates of infection are low enough. In Scotland, definitely things are a little bit different. The dates are less clear, but she's giving indicative dates. I, I think more importantly than that, the progress in Scotland appears to be slower. Scotland has taken a different path from England throughout lockdown. Now even the road back to a kind of normality is going to be different. And while England is already counting the days, Scots are depending on the data.